my name is Maciej Kruszacki. I'm a product manager working on GKE. So indeed, my role is more oriented internally on how how um, uh, on the offer that we uh, provide to, to users with Google Kubernetes Engine. Um, I'm, I, before I start, actually, I want to say like I'm really surprised like how many people we have. Like I remember like three months ago when we were discussing w with the guys here and with our colleagues at CNCF if we should organize this event for the first time. I think it's worth to recognize it's really the first first collocated event on on Batch and HPC. We're concerned if we'll have actually a room we're targeting around 50 people, which like kind of looks like guesstimating uh, around that that uh, that group. So really cool to see um, all of you here. Um, like a quick show maybe of hands, like who among you like is a Kubernetes user? Uh, it looks like one third, maybe almost half. And like who among you is a contributor to core Kubernetes or projects that, that run on it? Ah, that's actually interesting, um, interesting. And then who's like a vendor that's providing products uh, um, uh, that uses Kubernetes? Then? Okay, cool. Who didn't raise their hands? Then it's, it's okay. We, we need to talk then later. But cool. Uh, that's uh, that's 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 um, uh, yeah. That sounds, sounds re so really excited to see you here. Like in this short, like really five minutes sponsor keynote, um, I would really I would like to show you just in like five minutes. Um, uh, what's our thinking process in terms of how do we um, embed uh, Kubernetes in the overall offering of uh, Google Cloud so that we help our users and other companies in the ecosystem to either consume services or provide them to, to end users. And uh, what I would love as an objective here, I mean, like, like as Ricardo said, the objective of the whole event is really to like build a community around the, the topic of HPC and batch processing in uh, Kubernetes. So I'd love if after the session during breaks, uh, we could like spend some time together, discuss like if you had any feedback or, or maybe set up some, some meetings later to, to maybe dive deep into some of the thoughts that you might have on, on how we're approaching the, the problem space. So with that, then, um, like, I probably I don't need to explain to anyone in this group, especially that is so dominated by users, that the, the importance of high-performance computing um, and data processing in general for all of the scientific workloads that researchers are doing is only growing in the mo modern world. We face more and more challenges that require um, robust, um, uh, robust uh, IT infrastructure for, for scientific workloads and data processing. And uh, Kubernetes comes with a very important offer in this context. That is, it comes with that capability of uh, offering an open API that abstracts a lot of the infrastructure and the differences between on-premises and various cloud providers so that um, batch admins or uh, platform admins are able to offer uh, provider agnostic infrastra uh, primitives to consume by uh, researchers, but at the same time, um, Kubernetes is low level enough in its abstraction layers that it is possible to offer that platform uh, um, uh, without making sacrifices or major sacrifices in things like performance efficiency um, that are critical for many high performance computing workloads. And um, as we think about what we are trying to offer in the Google Kubernetes engine and GCP in general when it comes to Kubernetes, <coughs> color, co colors could be a little bit better maybe, sorry for this, but um, here, uh, so we, we are dividing the, the capabilities that we're uh, offering to you and uh, we, we have uh, shipped or we're working on, on launching uh, into three main domains. One is job management or you could convert it into like ease of use. So there, there's a lot of investment that also goes, goes from us into the uh, open source community and how Kubernetes orchestrates jobs, uh, how uh, queuing operators and other capabilities in here, but it also comes like integration with the ecosystem, but it also comes with some capabilities associated associated with uh, um, how you just manage clusters, like the, the ease of upgrades, in creating clusters, especially like in this domain, like ephemeral clusters. Uh, other domain is like performance, and here it's both improvements into the open source stack in terms of its efficiency and how it operates, uh, and also launching a variety of capabilities in the infrastructure or other parts of the ecosystem like um, uh, GPUs, new CPU architectures, better integration of Kubernetes and our um, Google stack with, with the underlying hardware. And last but not least, it's cost efficiency and all of the capabilities associated with the fact that high performance computing requires massive amounts of resources that are expensive, uh, but then uh, so which makes it a very sensitive topic to, to be able to fit into the budget and uh, financial constraints of workloads. I'll just 
flash this to visualize like what was the level of our commitment to the high performance computing uh, cap uh, capabilities this just flags some of the both hardware and software capabilities that we have been launching and we have on the roadmap uh, they both cover in, in like uh, not only hardware and not, not only stuff related to kubernetes and symbol kubernetes but we're also uh, supporting those users who would prefer to use some alternatives when you think about uh, Google Kubernetes engine itself, I'll just highlight like the most recent uh, important uh, capabilities or the most notable ones that we see among the HPC community. So definitely the fact that uh, uh, we commit to, to supporting uh, clusters of a size like 5,000, um, three times, 15,000 nodes, so three times larger than what is being tested by the open source community. Uh, we provide um, uh, our auto scaling uh, algorithms and capabilities are like custom and internally built to offer the best integration of our infrastructure and they all are built in a way that they optimize the function of the cost for the customer as the primary primary objective of what they do ease of use upgrades ease of creation of clusters then performance capabilities integration of hardware etc gpu slicing um, or uh, orchestration of spot vms so like there's more to come uh, if you want to chat and share your thoughts on like where we think we should uh, go etc i'd be very keen to talk and now i will pass to aldo and the next presenter Ah, one more, one more, maybe just uh, on these cards, you can find a URL and you can find it also here on the uh, bottom. Uh, it will take you, we have some small present for you. Uh, we didn't know how many people will show up online versus in person. So we, uh, as a swag, form of sponsored swag, we are offering uh, um, training credits that you can, uh, you can uh, redeem uh, while logging to that link in the middle or the one that you have on these cards that are on your table. And with that, 